Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from my car. <laughs> um, I'm not actually doing this all from my car. I have come to Stuart's Garden Centre aka my favourite place in the whole of the south coast. Um, had something on my face then. Um, <laughs> it's a lovely wonderful garden centre nearby me. Um, it's in Christchurch and it's always full of the most interesting beautiful houseplants. I don't tend to go on the outside um, as much because I don't really have much of an outside garden but I absolutely adore their houseplants so um, I thought I would take you through a little uh, walk through. I have done a video of Stuart's before but they change up their stock very often um, and <laughs> this time I asked permission I forgot to ask permission the last time but they have actually said it's okay to film their plants so uh, I feel better knowing that I've got a permission. <laughs> um, I hope you find this interesting and enjoyable. Um, I will We'll be doing a voiceover through it because it's noisy and I don't really want to uh, make anyone feel uncomfortable um, by having their voice on recording uh, etc um, so yeah I have got my mask here and we are going to head in um, let's see I'll mask up can I do this one-handed sort of <laughs> oh no wrong way around okay okay this this is a bad idea. <laughs> right. Get my giant nose in. Right, here we go. Uh, so yeah, we are going to get going. Okay, so the first plants that we've got here are some beautiful little carnivorous plants. And the first one you're seeing there is a Saracenia. It's quite small, um, but I think that the price um, £4.29 is not too bad. We've got a Nepenthes hookeriana. I have actually bought a uh, little Nepenthes around about that size from here before, and it's growing super, super fast. With them, just make sure that you've got a bell jar or a cloche or something that you can put over them, because they really like that high humidity. Here we've got some Tillandsia, uh, or air plants. They have actually a really decent selection usually in Stewart's and the price is not bad. I think they're usually, yeah, they're all around about $2.99, even the quite big ones. Um, I've got a good handful from here in the past and uh, especially lately they seem to be doing some really pretty colours like that one I've just picked up there. And uh, I'm just showing you some of the ones that really caught my eye. Um, I need to not buy any more air plants though because uh, the cat keeps trying to get them. <laughs> Um, they've got some nice little displays um, on wood too, but I think they glue them on, which I'm not a big fan of. And over here, uh, we've got about 10 billion succulents. <laughs> um, as you can see, there's a lot of aloes and some gasteria and hawthia and all sorts there. Some eonium uh, and some little lithops or lithops. I don't really know how you say that. Um, but at 3 dollars I don't think that's too bad actually a price. I think it's fairly decent. Um, I still struggle with these so I usually leave them. And uh, yeah, moving on, they've got some fancy cacti. I love that mammillaria that's just about to flower. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they're kind of average price for a little cactus. Um, this one is, yeah, $5.99. Uh, which isn't bad for that size to be honest with you um, and they all generally seem to be very well kept and we've got a lot of Fora williamsii over there which is a uh, psychedelic cactus <laughs> um, or otherwise known as peyote cactus interesting fact you are legally allowed to own them in the UK um, you're just not allowed to prepare them for consumption and uh, yeah so these are the gorgeous euphorbias they've got um, they're quite expensive, not going to lie, but they are incredible. This is a section I always avoid because they glue in the gravel, um, whoever they uh, get their cactus uh, plants from, I guess, <laughs> um, which is a recipe for root rot, unfortunately. But uh, moving on to the Sansevieria, they've got some very fancy ones. I love this one in particular. Um, I'm not actually sure what he is, but he's uh, 13 99 not bad, especially as he's got a little pup on the side. And some of your bog standard, uh, Sansevieria trifasciata. Um, 
I tend to get mine in the supermarket to be honest with you um then we've got some lovely phalaenopsis orchids and I just love these beautiful pink flowers all together they just look so so pretty um I really love orchids these days I'm really into them some beautiful hanging plants they've got a Hoya linearis some Senecio rolianus I think it is um some Ripsalis and Lepismium they've got a lovely selection and some more little cacti here I really really love those aloes um and these this little section I always check out the choice plants for the collector because uh, there's occasionally some really cute unusual ones and they've got great stock in here today it's fantastic um, and over there you can see the little horse teeth <laughs> uh, or Haworthia truncata I think it is uh, one of my favorites but yeah they all just look fantastic to be honest um, there's a few that are just about to flower as well then we've got those grafted moon cacti I think they're called um, panning around you can see just how many they've got <laughs> and some lovely big apuntia um, or prickly pear cactus and yep that is all of their gorgeous cacti next um, we are just continuing on the end of that orchid um, table We've got some beautiful little Paphiopedilum uh, orchids. I've got that particular one at home and it just flowers and flowers and flowers. Um, and they're a really decent price to be honest, $21.99 for a Paphiopedilum's not bad. And that one is stunning. <laughs> um, that, I, I won't say that's a Lepismium, but I think it's a Ripsalis. I'm not totally sure to be honest with you. Um, it's a little string of bees down there. Some uh, pretty glocks, I never know how to say that, glocks near. And here is a beautiful uh, Hoya silver spots, uh, which is actually a pubicalyx um, cultivar. Some lovely little peperomia watermelon next to it as well. I just love those silver spots, they're just stunning. Yep, big fan, big, big fan. <laughs> And here we've got the Peperomia Argria. I never know quite how to say that. Argiria. Um, but that's a really decent price as well for that. And I have bought one in the past. They're really easy to propagate as well. Then you've got the Gynura um, down there, the purple passion plant. Uh, which is really cheap, £5.49. Um, I actually got one the last time as a Stuart's because it's just stunning. Um, it doesn't really come off well on camera. Here we've got the Mimosa Pudica as you can see, doing its sensitive plant thing. Um, I love them when they're all sitting together, they all set each other off, but uh, actually a very finicky house plant, so not recommended. These Senecios are so pretty with their purple, purple string, purple, what do you call them? Stems. <laughs> but I had the string of dolphins and killed it uh, very rapidly, so I'm always a little bit afraid of having a Senecio background to the gloxinia um, and they've got some really funky kind of tree looking plants around here um, that I'm always admiring I never know the name of this one I check it every single time and I can never remember the name of it which I apparently didn't check in this video either <laughs> so if you know the name please leave it in the comments because I'm intrigued Right, and going back to another one of their little stands. Um, so here we've got a really funky, like, potato-looking plant. Um, and that is, oh gosh, I can't even read that. But <laughs> whatever it is, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> it looks really cool. Um, yeah, just some pretty, pretty plants. These ones are always in, always. And here is the lovely Peperomia Velvet Touch. I actually got this recently and I am in love. Uh, it's $21.99, it's not too bad price-wise. It's a fairly decent large plant um, and so velvety and gorgeous to the touch. And here they've got some really funky uh, Ficus microcarpa ginseng um, in a kind of bonsai shape. They're just beautiful. Look at that price. $174.99. It does make me wonder how old it is. Um, and this one, I've seen a lot of people buying that particular plant uh, lately, which is intriguing. 
around to my favourite section, the gorgeous begonias. We've got a size more there, uh, Benita Chibo is the closest one, and I think this one I'm picking up is green gold. Um, and look at that beautiful, beautiful leaf. It's just stunning. Yeah, green gold. Um, I actually really, really had to resist buying that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, gorgeous. Um, but I've got so many begonias now, I need to have some restraint. So there's a Bucania variegated for 114.99. So it must be a pretty old plant. Um, going over here, we've got some peace lilies, um, some spathophyllum, and these excellent little baby caladium. These are really cool. I, I'm denied over these quite a lot. Um, they are 8.99, which is not bad for a small caladium. Quite a few of those have got a couple of plants in as well, um, which really isn't bad considering a large plant can be anything up to 30 quid. So, and the palms, which I, I always neglect. I know it's bad, but I always do kind of walk past the palms, although I love them. A palm is a palm is a palm to me. That's bad, isn't it? Um, and a lovely Aglianema here. Um, I think from memory this wasn't actually indicated what uh, cultivar it is, but I love, 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 love this Aglianema. Um, it's just really, really pretty. I've only got one Aglianema actually at home, although um, they are pretty decent, easy care plants. So one to watch out for. Oh, and these Diefenbachia I love. And this one is a really interesting homolomina and um, I've only really seen homolomina maggie in shops but I think this one is homolomina lemon lime or just lime uh, for $21.99 really again not a bad price uh, for that size of plant and it will get a lot bigger as well um, than that which is lovely uh, some ivy hanging down there heterohelix and this is a real like exciting part this has got uh Makodi's petola they've got a, quite a few less than the last time that i visited and i got a, a good couple for myself um and right here is a Makodi sandariana um the little golden one really really cute and i'm just in love with these jewel orchids they are incredible so these are 12.99 each which actually if anyone has been trying to source a jewel orchid um, before now you will know that getting hold of one for less than 20 quid is pretty much impossible <laughs> so they are finally coming down in price but uh, not by yeah it's a decent price this one is another jewel orchid which I'm clearly struggling to hold for 30 pounds and that's Ludicia gold um, I assume the gold refers to the flower um, and right next to it there's not a huge amount of difference between these um, two jewel orchids that I can see but this one is Ludicia discolor has lovely white flowers but that's um, just $19.99 so you know they look a bit different but I'm not quite seeing the cost difference here here's one that I really love weeping blue ginger with these gorgeous little flowers supposedly um, they flower all year round um, I got one for my mum. My mum asked me to go and get it a few months back and she says it's just been flowering constantly. Um, there's not a huge amount of info online about them though. Um, and here's a lovely Musa and that is $24.99 which really isn't bad for a, for a big Musa like that. Um, obviously now that we're coming towards winter they would need to be kept indoors or overwintered in the garden I guess um, if you are going to have it outdoors. Moving over here, we've got some roses, some very pretty roses, although I've never had success with roses indoors, <laughs> um, and some cute little calathea or calathea, um, good, very good for terrariums, and 329 is not a bad price at all, um, and a great way to increase your calathea or calathea collection um, at not too much of a cost. Um, I'm not going to lie, those were very tempting to me. And then we've got gorgeous orbifolia, and then these pretty ones i've seen these a few times and i'm so tempted to get one but i'm um, my existing calathea are only just recovering from a spider mite infestation so i'm trying to trying to keep my cool <laughs> um as you can see the orbifolia is 22.99 um i think all the big calathea are 22.99 which i think is actually quite expensive um when you compare them to ikea which are nor normally same size for about um nine pounds Although the IKEA ones that I've got in the past have had 
uh, mealybug issues or other pest issues. And then we've got this gorgeous asplenium. I think this was in the previous uh, Stuart's video that I did. Just beautiful. I mean, if I could um, look after a fern very well, then <laughs> I'd love to have these gorgeous great big ferns. I mean, look at those lovely ruffles. Just stunning. Um, and just the, the, I don't know what it is, but the aesthetic of the leaves and just everything about it is just stunning. Um, if I remember correctly, yep, they've got a little um, crocodile fern in here, um, which is incorrectly labelled as an asplenium. It's actually not. It is a microsorum crocodilus, but we'll forgive them. It's fine. Um, but yeah, love these ferns. I just, I mean, who else is with me? Do we have fern problems? <sighs> Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, moving on around here, we've got a very cute little Peperomia scandens. Um, I actually really, really like this plant and it's really cheap, $8.99, really not bad at all. It's kind of a lot like a trailing philodendron or a pothos, um, but it's a Peperomia, which is really cool. They've got slightly fleshy leaves and everything. Um, a beautiful Skindapsis, I'm not actually sure which one that is, I think. It says Argurius, but I'm not sure. Could be a different one. There's so many different but very similar looking ones. <laughs> um, I actually think they've styled these uh, Begonia Maculata Whitei really, really nicely with those pots. They look lovely. And then some more little terrarium plants, some Fetonia, Croton. And here we have got a Philodendron. Uh, Shangri-La, although I'm not sure that that's the Shangri-La because I've seen the Shangri-La elsewhere. It doesn't look quite like that, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, and some gorgeous neon pothos, one of my favorite trailing plants. It's just so, so pretty. Um, and 12 99 is really not bad um, for a nice full plant. Then we've got a, another philodendron. <laughs> We're in the philodendron section now. Um, the Philodendron Green Wonder, and actually I think this is a really decent price, $12.99 for a lovely big plant with luscious leaves like that. Um, and here we've got a lot of big fancy alocasia. And some more Peperomia scandens, um, some teeny tiny little Philodendron. And that, I mean, that looks, what I'm expecting from the other one was a Xanadu. Uh, that looks like a Xanadu to me, uh, the one that's marked Xanadu yellow, but there we go. <laughs> and then we've got a much bigger green wonder there, um, and for not a bad price actually, at $34.99, really can't be sniffed at. Philodendron Hastatum, Silver Sword, a couple of Birkins in the back there, a lovely Philodendron Gold. Malay, I think it is. Gold Malay? Am I making that up? Malay Gold, that's the one. <laughs> um, but this one's a fairly recent one. I mean, when I got a little baby plant, I think I paid about 15 quid for a small cutting. Um, and now you can get a 35 pound large plant. So it just goes to show what's changed lately. And they've got some lovely trailing plants over there as well. On to the Anthuriums. <sighs> These are just always beautiful with the lovely kind of flamingo pink palette. This great big plant is a, <laughs> I think he's actually a philodendron Rojo Congo, um, but he is marked as a red beauty, I think, here. Uh, then we've got some Raphidophora, or Raphidophora. How do you say that? I'm not really sure. A very decent price at $15.99. Um, it has been marked as philodendron minima. It's a common um, mislabeling I found for the Ravidophora. Um, then if we pan around, sorry, this is getting a little bit shaky. <laughs> We've got some huge, great big um, Ficus lirata for 99.99 for a large tr established tree like that is a really decent price. Um, so yeah, I was, I mean, I'm on that slightly. <laughs> um, 
Now here is something really interesting. Um, so this is what's called sport variegation or a natural mutation. This is in a uh, Strelitzia nicolai, I think. I think it's a Nikolai, yeah. Um, and it's just got very random, sporadic little bits of variegation. Um, and you can see, because it's on several leaves, it's obviously a mutation within the plant rather than just a single leaf. Um, I had a quick chat with one of the ladies who works there and she said they've been kind of watching it for weeks on end, hoping that there'll be a more variegated leaf. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of really, really pretty bromeliads here and quite a few of them are in flower. Um, don't be fooled, it's not the big like orange bits, it's those tiny little flowers you can see, uh, mainly white and pink. Um, so like in the middle of this gorgeous neoregalia, I think there's like a couple of flower buds in there and um, there's another one coming up. Right in there, you can see a little purple flower right in the center of that neoregalia. So, um, yep, I am a massive bromeliad fan, although I have just killed one and had to stick it in the bin. Sad times. <laughs> uh, then we've got this huge, great big alocasia, um, elephant ears. I'm not actually sure what the species is, but it's just gorgeous. And I think uh, that is retailing for around about 150 pounds in Stuart, so it's not that expensive really for s such a big big plant um can you imagine having that in your home i'm like i i would die i love that so that's my new wish list plant if anyone's interested <laughs> um and we're back around to the beginning with the carnivorous plants so i think we're just jumping around to the middle again Yep, um, so we've got two types of Dishidia here, um, trailing Dishidia. The first one is Million Hearts, and this one we're looking at here is called um, Dishidia avata, or the watermelon Dishidia. And that one there, the pale green one, is Million Hearts. Um, these are $12.99, really not a bad price um, for um, a long trailing Dishidia. Then we have got the Persian Shield plant and the Costas Arabicus variegata, I think. <laughs> I've not actually heard of that one before, so I need to look up what that is. Um, and then this gorgeous Strobilanthes, or Strobilanthus. I actually don't know how, what the right way of saying that is, but it uh, puts my little one that's been struggling to, to shame. <laughs> uh, but it's such a gorgeous plant. And then this beautiful, beautiful alocasia. I actually thought this was alocasia fried egg, um, but I was incorrect. And I'm gonna have to watch this video to remind myself of the name. Where are we? Oh yes, Sar Sariana, I think it is, or Sarian, or something like that. <laughs> Um, if I figure that out, I'm going to have to put that on the, uh, on the screen. Um, but yeah, just look at that. Such a stunning plant. And that's it really for the plants. Um, I thought I would give you just a little look at the pots because they've got some really interesting, quirky looking pots. Um, this one really caught my eye. It's just got a really lovely texture to it. Um, and there's another one that I'm got my eyeballs on. <laughs> this funky little creature with legs. Um, I'm really, really into, especially once they've put those cacti in them, I'm just like, yep, that's for me. Um, so this is like my pot porn area. <laughs> um, although they're all a bit out of my price range, to be honest, because I have so many plants that to put all of the pot, all of the plants I have in pots would be way too expensive. Um, and then they've got some more just kind of basic um, fulfilling your color desire um, sort of uh, plant pots or I should say cash pots or cash pose, or I don't know how you say it. Because um, <laughs> none of these have got holes in the bottom, so you wouldn't want to actually plant directly into them. You would uh, want to keep your plant in its nursery pot and just stick it, sit it gently in there. I'm always in love with this mustard coloured um, Elho pot, always. Um, but I run out of plants that actually look good in mustard pots. Um, <laughs> This is the thing, I love all of these gorgeous colours, but I can never think of an appropriate plant for the pot. Um, but these Elho ones are actually fairly reasonable for the price, um, in that they don't rot, they don't let water through or anything like that. So they're not they're not bad. If you've got a smaller collection than mine, <laughs> then I'd definitely recommend them. Oh, and I did just capture at the end these gorgeous Monstera roots. Um, they've got some lovely, lovely Monstera deliciosa. De 
Monstera Deliciosa. Again, I would recommend going to Ikea for these because they're a lot cheaper there. Um, but they've got some beautiful, beautiful specimens there with some lovely aerial roots. And yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. So I'll leave you on the alocasia. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, so I have finished my little escapade in uh, Stuart's. I will come back and show you what I got afterwards. I have a little project in mind, so uh, if it looks like I've got a few things, then I will explain that in more detail when I get home. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and carry on watching to see what I got. <laughs> I was on a little bit of a mission to get one of my friends a jewel orchid or two jewel orchids um, so I may or may not show them um, yeah we'll figure it out but yeah I probably will show you I've got two exactly the same anyway so I can show you them <laughs> um, yeah stop waffling Emma <laughs> right I am going to get going I have no idea where my car keys are uh, they are hopefully somewhere in here because I only just use them and I'm in useless case and I am late for the gym and everything's going tits up, but here we go. I'll see you later guys. Hey everyone, um, it is actually the next day. Um, I ran out of time yesterday I'm afraid because I had gone to Stuart's straight after work and then uh, we'd planned to go to the gym so I didn't actually get time to do any of this <laughs> showing you what I actually got but here I am. Um, I thought I would start off with the two most exciting things that I got which are actually for my friend Adam. He is uh, at Earth Champion on Instagram so if you don't already follow him make sure you check him out. He has an incredible amount of plants um, and he's got in it, the most beautiful living wall. He's got a vivarium like all sorts of things. Yeah you got to check him out. So I will put his name under here. I'm sure he won't mind me sharing what um, I got on his behalf uh, because <sighs> we got some jewel orchids. <laughs> um, I found these lovely jewel orchids at Stuart's um, a couple of weeks ago and I got myself some. I told Adam about it and he was excited as well. Um, so I said the next time I go, I will try and pick some up for him. So what we got is the Makodi's Sandariana. I just want to see if that we can get that to focus. That should be focused. I hope it is. Um, so this little fella, he's a slightly less popular version of the uh, Makodi's Petola, um, which is the green one with kind of golden lightning stripes. This one has got sort of orangey stripes, and it is just gorgeous. I. I'm almost, I'm on the cusp of saying that I prefer this one to the Makodi's Patola, but I don't know, but it's very, very pretty, very gorgeous. So we got that, or I, I mean he, you know what I mean, <laughs> between us, that's, I guess that's why I was saying we. Um, and I also got the Makodi's Patola for him, which if you haven't seen this before, I mean, how beautiful is that? We love a jewel orchid, don't we? so 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 pretty so for anyone who doesn't know these are ground dwelling orchids um so they are treated in a slightly different way to our traditional like phalaenopsis um vanda and i can't think of other orchid names cymbidium and so on uh, which are epiphytes and this is a ground dwelling orchid so it has a different uh, set of care needs these do very very well in terrariums so yeah I actually have a little project involving these and a terrarium so hopefully that will be on my channel at some stage. So that's what I got for Adam um, and I will be posting them to him shortly. What I got for myself kind of leading on from the um, terrarium kind of project little side thing that I alluded to, um, I got a very pretty little Calathea. Um, I don't actually know or Calathea, I don't know how to say that properly, but I don't actually know what um, variety this is. It's just a very pretty kind of green and pink. I decided to go for ones that I don't actually have. I've kind of given you a spoiler there, um, but I decided to go for ones that I don't have in the bigger size because I can always just take like little um, offsets off of those. So this one is very cute and I think it will look great in a terrarium um, situation. The other 
Calathea that I got uh, is this one. I can never remember the name of it, so I'll try and put it along the screen. Um, and this one is, again, just to go in a terrarium, but how pretty is that? So, so pretty. And if I just show you from the back, it's not gonna show you, um, but where I'm sitting, because the light is shining in on me, um, you can see right the way through, maybe, no, you can't see anything. Um, but yeah, you can see right the way through uh, the cells of the leaf, which is just stunning. Um, so yeah, because he's got a little kind of pink underside, it's very, very, very pretty. I hope you can see. Maybe, no, never mind. Um, so yeah, these were both uh, £3.29 each, which is really not that bad. Um, it's perhaps a little bit pricey, but then all I would take off that is about 30p, so not it's nothing really um but yeah they're very healthy luscious looking little baby plants so i'm happy very happy about that um i also got a fetonia um also to go for the terrarium um i've got a few fetonia now but this one i don't already have it's a beautiful lime green uh with pink veining and it's just gorgeous just just gorgeous um and i've always eyeballed this one and i've Every time that I see it, I'm like, oh, not today, I'll get it another time. And today I was just like, do you know what? I'm going to get it. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, very, very pretty little dude. Uh, this was 2 99 So, as you can see, it's obviously a fuller plant than this, but they're different varieties. Vitonia are very, very easy to come by. So, yeah, 2 99 is a decent price for this. I am very happy about that. And these are very easy to propagate and um, chop back and all sorts so yeah lovely little plants on to my two slightly more special uh, purchases the first is a gorgeous caladium I don't know which type of caladium this is uh, but it's just so pretty look at that I've not really been crazy on caladium until this year to be honest um, where I've got my first two and now this is my third but this is a really kind of translucent pink and it's just so cute I'm not normally like a pink plants person but I'm kind of feeling it at the moment so um yeah this is just a very lovely little healthy little uh caladium plant so I, I might put it next to my um poison dart frog I think it's poison dart frog, poison arrow frog um, from botanico.com and just uh, yeah because they're pink and green and they will probably sit well together so yeah they're very very happy about this I think actually I might end up putting this in the terrarium I'm not totally sure I'm just gonna read up on that and figure out whether or not that's a good idea and the final one that was really the one that I went for um, is this gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya Silver Spot, it's called. Um, but look at that. I mean, it's literally bigger than my head. <laughs> um, so this is a good handful of vines that have been twisted around a circular trellis. Um, this is actually the Hoya Pubicalyx um, and the variety is Silver Spots. I don't know what the flowers look like. I have yet to ever get a flower from a Hoya, so, um, but it's just so pretty. Look at this, all these beautiful silvery spots all over it. And this is such a lovely full plant. And I just, I don't know, I'm over the moon about this. And do you know what? This is only 10 pounds 99, 10.99. And that's a lot of Hoya, okay? That's a lot of gorgeous Hoya um, and I'm just really happy to have this. It's got several growth points. I can see several growth points throughout. Um, I wonder if I can show you this one just here. Uh, that's a growth point and it's got several different ones uh, throughout. So yeah, very, very, very happy with this one. I feel like um, the Hoya splash craze is, is uh, taking off lately, so yeah oh and i've just finished watching kaylee ellen's um rep hoya haul which is very i don't know for anyone who likes hoyas i would genuinely say go and have a watch because there's some really drool worthy hoyas on there so yeah um so yeah that's it uh thank you guys for watching let me know what you thought of stuart's and 
Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more of them, please do let me know in the comments. Um, I hope to continue to improve these types of videos as well. I know that the recording is a little bit shaky, so uh, yeah, working on that. <laughs> um, if you did enjoy it, uh, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps. I'm nearly at 300 as I film this, so I'm really, really excited by that. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate all of you. I'm just over the moon about it all so uh, yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and share it if you feel like inclined to do so because uh, that's excellent and I will see you again next time